Hello everyone. So now let's do some more topic about the ESA firewall. If you remember in our previous class we learned some basic stuff. Now we are going to learn device management. Device management. How we can manage this device? So generally the traffic network administrator used to configure the network device is known as device management. If you remember we have three plane, data plane, control plane. If you remember that one. Here also same concept we have. So we have data plane that is user to user. We have management plane that is the traffic whatever we are sending to configure the device like telnet, SSH, SNMP. That is nothing but management plane. We are going to use the management plane to configure the devices. So now what we can say we are going to use the device management to configure this device. ASA firewall or router whatever we want to configure that one. Okay, and here console we will use. First of all, we will use console to configure the ASA firewall. If you remember, when we are doing the CCNA, CCNP, we learn console. We use console cable to connect to the router to configure that one. For all the Cisco devices, what we are doing, we are using the console cable. We are plugging. We are going to plug into the router switch or the ASA firewall, and we are accessing the console and we are configuring the telnet or SSH. So same thing here also we need to do. If you see here, just let me revise. Imagine this is a ASA firewall. You have the console cable. You connected this way, and this is the DB9 console cable. Now you have the USB type also new model. So if you are using this one, if you have the serial port in your laptop, you can connect this to your laptop. If you don't have the serial port, then you can connect this to uh, that is USB to serial port converter. and connect to the laptop like this okay and this is this is the way we are going to use this is the old console cable nowadays you have here also usb port here also usb port but some old model is still we are using also in our organization we need this cable this is a old cable one side will be rj45 you can connect this to the router and this is a db9 you need to connect to your serial port of your laptop but nowadays new laptop model is not coming with the db9 serial uh, port so what we will do we will use the usb to serial port converter and we are going to install the driver for this one in our laptop and then we are going to connect this to the cable and this will connect to our laptop to access the router same thing we will access the firewall asa firewall okay so that is a device management we can say device management to manage the device that is a management traffic Okay, so console port we are going to use to access the device. If you see here, already we are using the console port. This is a console port only. If you see, anyone can come in your organization and they can connect the console cable to the ASA firewall and they can start accessing the device. So what you need to do, you need to put some password so no one can access. If anyone come and anyone is trying to access, uh, ASA should ask the username and password. Okay, so we need to do something, but generally we are keeping this in the data center or in our. So let's try now. What I am saying, anyone can plug the cable and they can access. Generally, this one we will keep in our what we can say server room. In that one, we will have the security door access card. So many things we have, but it is better to secure. Okay, so no one can access the console easily. so we have some procedure we need to do that one to secure that one we have some console configuration so let's do that one what we will do i will write the config t okay i am inside the configuration mode then i will create the user local user i am going to create i will give the username as admin and password i will give as a admin also we can give anything for lab purpose i am giving this one and write the privilege 15 i am giving privilege as a 15 so i created one local user okay now we need to put the password to the console so what we need to do this is a procedure we need to do in the asa firewall we will write triple a authentication okay triple a authentication serial console and local okay console and then press uh, uh, local and press tab write l press tab so it will come local and press enter then write exit and write exit now if you see it is asking the username okay before it is not asking now it is asking the username if anyone come and click the connect the console cable 
and try to access the ASA firewall with the console cable it will ask the username and password I will write admin and then I will write admin okay and then I will write enable and enable password I wrote before admin so it is able to access if you write exit it will ask the username and password so no one can access our ASA firewall so what we learn in our today class we learn how we can put the console password in the ASA firewall okay this is a console configuration uh, why we are securing our device because we don't want anyone to come in the server room and connect the console cable and access our device so for that purpose we are putting the password in the console cable okay so we use this method let me show you the configuration what I use so by seeing that one you can also perform the lab if you see I created one local user this one okay after that I told AAA authentication serial console local means I am saying take the user from local whatever local user present in the ASA firewall call them okay and if you see after that I press exit exit after that it is asking me the username and password when I put the username and password I am able to access the console of the ASA firewall else we cannot okay so in our next class we are going to learn how we can configure the telnet and how we can use the telnet in the ASA firewall okay thank you